Hello and welcome to Minor Plays Medal of Honor Allied Assault. This is Mission 6, Level 4, the Schmerzen Express. So, we've made it out of the window here, which I'm just very interested just to see. Yeah, of course it's like that. <laughs> um, this area here is, I would probably describe it as the infamous multiplayer map on the original Medal of Honor Snowy Park and I don't know if you remember the so there were the seven multiplayer maps that you could play there was Southern France Destroyed Village, Raymargin uh, Crossroads Snowy Park number five Stalingrad and Algiers but six of those were played quite a bit and then Snowy Park wasn't. Uh, I feel like I... it would be better maybe if I do the multiplayer maps actually f from the, the base game and kind of just go through a little bit about little techniques that I used, uh, little things like that. I've, I think that could be quite cool like showing my... the different uh, methods I use trying to get around. So this section here, I, th I think this is part of the reason why people didn't like Snowy Park because it was difficult to see and it's just so samey. You couldn't, unless you really studied the map, you couldn't really tell exactly where you were. I mean, how do I know just by looking at these trees that I'm not on the north, south, east, or west edge of the map? It's not exactly easy. Um, I also, I also probably won't be able to get absolutely everyone in this section but you can see where the objective marker has taken me you you can approach this from different areas there's the three different bridges across the center part but I feel like the main thing you have to do oh, just get the dog first oh geez. let's get the dog before anything else why have you what okay okay that is odd. Has the dog glitched out, or do I just need to get a bit closer? But effectively, I need to go down there. So if I do, I think the dog has glitched out. I'm going to keep an eye on it. I I feel like at any moment now it's going to suddenly run and jump at me. I don't know if it's one of these where you have to trigger it from a certain direction, but it seems a bit odd that I came through where I did and it wasn't properly triggered. Wow. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is the dog. Yeah. You can tell it's got mirrored textures, can't you? Yeah, so it's got like a white streak going up and then back down again, and then... Yep, same again there. Well, that's the dog. Uh, there's a guy down here. Ah, she says it. Well, I forgot about, forgot about that dog. I honestly forgot that there was that dog and that extra guy, actually. But I'm pretty sure... Oh, forgot about that guy. Yeah, I was pretty sure there was health around here. Which of course there is. Right, I'm just going to reload. I'm a bit of a sucker for when it comes to reloading. I feel like even if I just use one bullet, I have to reload. Right, and train. I don't think you can dive from that. I don't think you can get. I don't think you can get close enough by the time the train goes by. But it obviously makes you jump when you get to it. Although you should probably expect it when you have a game where you suddenly see a train track and hmm, guess what's going to happen. Now this is another example of using the fog to your advantage. So at the moment, can't really see anything that's ahead, but if I do, nope, nothing yet. At some point, oh, sorry doggo. At some point, you should start to see, okay, here we are. So if I were to go back a bit, just to get out of it. Okay, so you can't see anything there. Do that. You can kind of just about see them. It's tricky. 
but I might as well just get a bit closer and I think there's someone oh oh no that's a guy that died from above oh jeez oh, I didn't realize why did I okay I could have just could have just uh, done that a bit better by switching to a different weapon there we are okay so I've had to restart that bit because I slightly messed up what I'm going to do this time basically th uh, this section here so you have these towers and what you have to do is you work your way around and somewhere at the back here there's the power generator and that shuts off the power I believe to the train lines oh cut the electrical power to the fences okay uh, now when I did this th there's two methods of doing this there's the get through without being seen and you have to dodge all the spotlights and that can be quite fun at the same time, the other method is to just shoot the people. Problem with shooting the people is you might get seen by the spotlight. However, it can make your journey a bit easier. So that spotlight looked at me briefly and then and then moved away. So if I get the guy that's up here, can I? I just about see, but I can't get a good shot. Uh, do I feel like? I I don't know what would happen if I used a sniper. Okay, so I did a little trick there. So I, I've shown this in one, one of the previous videos, but with these boxes, if you hold W and then jump, you can't get over. However, if I just press jump and then W at the top, I can then jump over a bit more easily. Okay, I should tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can dodge the spotlights. So I've shot those two. So just to show you that you can do it, but these spotlights are pretty awful. You have to literally just run out of the way of them. And kind of just follow them, I guess. In theory, I think if I just run through here, oh, there we are, and now work my way up here. There we are. So it's, it is actually pretty simple to do. Uh, let's yeah, let's throw a grenade in. Oh. <laughs> oh wow oh okay just dodge that briefly okay at least there's a health there wow okay that, <laughs> that was handy I didn't realise I was going to be able to blow up the fences as well so oh, can I see if I can just get this Guy, uh, is that in? Yeah, it's in there. There we are. Oh, it's after me, and then I think it goes away. Yeah, there you are. It's very um oh jeez got me. It's very unpredictable the silence pistol. It has a bit of a wide um spread. Go on, go away. Okay, I think it's gone. It has a bit of a wide spread. You can't I'm just gonna run through the last bit. You can't um Wait, what? That light is it's a bit odd. There we are. Yeah, you can't always predict exactly where it's going to shoot, but you have to just keep shooting and just rest a little bit. I think like the faster you shoot, the worse it is. Okay, now this part isn't... This part... Oops. It's just one of these where you just have to keep... Oh, geez. Just keep looking around. Keep looking around the corner. Oh, hello. I uh, tell you what, let's switch to. There we are. I think. 
I think someone comes up there. Oh, oops. So in in total, in total with this video, that uh, video, this level, I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say I'm a massive fan of this level because. Just make sure I've got everybody. Because with this. With this level, it's very much a. The first part, yeah, it's quite nice that it's a big open area. You get to run around, you get to figure out the best way of getting through. And who knows, enemies might appear from whichever direction. I'm just going to wait here before I go up. The problem then is from there, it's very, very corridor. And it's just a simple train track, just dodge a few spotlights, which to be honest is quite easy to do. And then this last little bit, which uh, not, there's nothing interesting about it, I would say. I wouldn't find. Okay, I didn't kill anyone there. I don't find myself being challenged in this section. It's a nice little mission, sure, but I don't think it's like the best mission that's out there. However, we are moving on to the last mission. I will go through the multiplayer maps, as I said earlier in the video. And I will be doing Spearhead and Breakthrough, potentially doing the maps from there as well. Maybe give a little bit of a critique about what was good, what was not good. Showing little moves that I did, all of that sort of thing. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next part.